my flower walls in the kitchen. This is what they look like now. And the reason why I'm doing that is because of how yellow they are. I actually like my flowers and my green countertops, which every time I do a video like this, people tell me to change those two things. But I am changing the walls for now I'm just gonna go ahead and paint them white that way if I want to do a different color on down the road or cover it up with something else I can and it will allow me to be able to decorate however I want and I don't have to stick to a farmhouse rustic or cottage theme I can just do whatever um so very excited to do that but I do want to let y'all know for those of you that rent your homes or you're not able to update your homes in any way please I just want this video to be entertaining for you and I don't want you to feel like you have to or you should update your home as long as you have four walls a floor and a ceiling heating and cooling um, running water and food in your pantry and some sort of source of light um, and blankets and, and clothes the basics y'all um, you are thriving so please don't feel like you need to update your home but if you want some inspiration or you just want to be entertained then hopefully you enjoy this video subscribe if you're new and you like content like this but without further ado let's get into the painting portion of this video I'm out of breath because I am done and I cannot wait to come back here in just a second and show you what it looks like afterwards um this is the paint i'm using we bought like four of these at walmart they were only around twenty dollars a piece and they are a paint and primer and they are eggshell texture i guess um i've washed that that's what's on here and i have washed these walls so many times um they have like i don't know if it's i don't think it's the paint that had like a sheen to it i think it's just the wallpaper but <sighs> let's do it i'm going to wipe down my walls and move all this crap off of the counters and then get to painting
I've also painted up above there. Um, and then I went ahead and painted over the light switches too because they are yellow. I could not get that thing off up there to save my life. I got the other ones off. Um, they're down here somewhere. But Erin will have to get that off. <laughs> so I ended up painting it white too. I was like, well, that's going to ruin my shots. So let me just go ahead and paint it white. Uh, I got the trim up there painted. And I just cleaned up a little bit. Um, I'm so excited. So it took me two coats when I did the rest of the walls um which is nice so I'll only have to go back over this one time and it will be solid super excited for this um don't worry about the paint little splatters I can clean those up with a scouring pad um so yeah there we go. I even painted this little, these little white strips. And you see the cracks. That's where the little, I don't know what they're called, but these things go. Um, and we took them off. So we've got them somewhere. Because we were going to put um, like the flooring, the peel and stick rectangles that you can use as like faux floor like faux wooden floors um but they kept falling off which Erin said with if there's paint on here then they should stick but if I ever did that I would probably just put them from this line to this line so it would give like just this little oven area a backsplash but um I'm excited with how this is going to look and I know uh, after January and I can spend money again, I'm doing that no spin challenge, um, I'm definitely going to be getting a curtain that actually fits my window because then I can get so many new angles for y'all when I'm in the kitchen and I'm in the kitchen a lot on both my channels. Um, some of you asked how to get to my other channel I will leave my latest video at the end of this video and all you have to do is if you're on your phone you can just click on that video and then it will take you to that channel or if you are on your computer you just have to like scroll on top of it and click on it and then if you're on your TV like I'm always watching stuff on the TV you just take your controller and click on the square and like it will highlight it it will have like a white box around it so it's Kimmy Cope vlogs just like this channel name just add vlogs to the end and that's how you can find it but very exciting I will show y'all what this looks like once I take a break and turn the fan on let it dry a little bit I may bring my um, that's actually a good idea. But they sent this over for me um, and I was so appreciative because if y'all been here for a while I have been saying how much I needed a dehumidifier and I love this one because you can just take it off whenever it's orange um, so and then you can put it on here whenever it's the darker color it is like more of a green color it means it's wet and then it needs to go on its drying and this will heat up and then dry it out for you and you can reuse this oh my gosh I think they said 
up to 330 times which is just insane i will leave the link down below um you can get this on amazon and so cool that you just plug it in it takes about two hours to go back all the way to orange and then you can just take it off and put it anywhere you want you can put it in your closet you can put it in cabinets you can put it um in your uh basement if you have anywhere where you think you need some help with getting the moisture out of the room which mobile homes is like really bad when it comes to moisture so just stick this by that every time it rains um my office area feels like kind of just like it's got some moisture in there and stuffy and this has been helping so much i always keep it in our um in my office back there because our window broke so it's got a crack in it and we tried to seal it up but it did not um we, we didn't fix it all the way so this has been such a big help for keeping that room back there dry no matter what the weather is outside um and the kitchen is super wet right now with all the paint so i'm just gonna leave this here so excited um but y'all saw earlier um, I'll show you some clips of how it is, goes from this dark color to an orange color. And like I said, it's so small um, and it is safe. Like even when it's super, like when you've just taken it off and it's hot, um, it's still like, it's still safe. It's not going to burn you um, if you accidentally touch the bottom of it. So I, I just love this and I love that it is like recyclable you can reuse it over and over and over again with this and then it doesn't take up any space whenever you're done and it's orange again up here you just unplug it put it underneath your kitchen sink and then put this part of it wherever you want it to go and you'll know that it's working because it will eventually turn a dark green color and then that's when you know, oh, I need to put it back on my um, center right here. Let it heat up, let it dry out, and then it will be orange again. So it definitely works because I've done this. This is my second time drying it out. So, yay, hopefully it will help uh, suck up the moisture from this room. Because we just painted. And then I'll be able to paint the second coat faster. And I cannot wait. After this clip, y'all are going to see what this room looks like completely finished. Alright friends, I'm going to show you what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. It's about to get dark, so I'm going to move forward a little. We're about to put all the decor back uh, where I would like to have it. Um, I did touch up some of the outside of the doors, um, and I also, <laughs> I also painted that top. This does not work, um, but I'm just gonna, we have not taken it down. I'm afraid we're gonna, like, rip the wall out if we try to take that down. Um, but, I, it was super yellow up against that white, so I just went ahead and painted it. I know that's crazy. I don't know if I would suggest it because I just use regular paint to do that, but it looks so much better. So it's all right if it chips, I'll just, I'll just paint it again. <laughs> but look how much better it looks. So it's, it's kind of boring, I understand. I'm about to, oh shoot knocking over stuff i'm gonna put all of my decor back and then i'll show you what it looks like when the kitchen is in its resting stage and not wild everywhere also i want to show y'all this thing helped out so much um it is just now going back to orange it was black there for a while because it was so wet in here oh i don't know if i already said it I ended up having to do three coats on the walls because of the flowers were just so, so dark. Um, so it did take three coats, but we were using a paint that um, is just like a regular paint. It is not a 
one coat if you know what I mean so you could find a thicker paint and it would maybe only take two coats but it definitely took three of uh, the paint we had but hey already had the paint laying around the house so this was a somewhat of a free project if that makes sense but I'm gonna go uh, put all this stuff back where it goes and I'll show you what it looks like all right here she is it will uh, aside from the green countertops it looks like a different kitchen that is so crazy to me um honestly I could cry because of how simple I mean it was a lot of work not gonna lie but how simple taking $20 and spending it on a can of paint and I still have like probably a third of a gallon left so I could probably use the rest of the paint on one or two doors like you see the brown door over there um so this was super budget friendly and we already had that paint like I said um so we didn't have to like go out and buy it right now but aside from there's dirty <laughs> dishes in the sink this is what it would look like all cleaned up and um yeah let's just let's just take you around all right so here's our little chairs right here and remember in the last video we painted underneath here and last night I was literally dreaming and it is too funny because my friend Megan, um, we're in a group chat together with another one of my really good friends, Faith, and hopefully they don't mind me saying that. Um, I love both of them. I have never had such great friends. They are like sisters to me at this point, but well, I made a joke and I was like, we're triplets, I guess. <laughs> But she, um, the first message I got today in Faith was, I had a dream that I was helping you, we were all three decorating Kimmy's house, and, um, we could, like, we were just cutting up so much, like, we didn't get anything done or whatever. And it's funny because today, I got that box in the mail that is full of Valentine's Day decor from Megan, and oh by the way it's love meg i'm sorry i'm i'm on a have like a different relationship with her than like youtube so i forget that it's it's love meg i keep calling her megan um but it's so crazy to me that she had that dream because i was dreaming last night like oh um i really want to paint my walls like i just want to do it like let's just do it so i just thought that was crazy it's like once you get to know somebody you y'all all kind of like start to get on the same wavelength but i've had this little picture in my office for the longest time and so i just brought it in here i thought it would go a little bit with the room also that bluish color matches the blue color in our living room also i was watching her videos i played a new one and then it just plays like all the other ones while i was painting so i have this little seashell picture that i got from goodwill um probably two or two years ago now um and then that pineapple this is a new pineapple i promise i ate the other one so this one i need to cut and eat it but as you can see um i've gone through like a declutter phase so i don't really like a lot of stuff on the counters i've got some dishes in the sink but aside from that everything on the counters is necessary or it just like warms up the room a little bit so i ended up moving this if you've been here for a while you'll know that this used to be somewhere else but i ended up putting it here um it's just a little wax melt can't really smell it yet but I can like uh like this morning I smelled it like up at my nose and I same thing with my candle going over there um so I'm starting to get my smell like back really good but um when I'm not like trying to smell something my smell in my mouth like just tastes and smell really weird um but I've heard other people say that happens to them too after they get over the c word so there's that right there i used to have a diffuser here and all the oils so i ended up 
putting that over here to hide the cord um, and it made a huge difference so Megan actually sent me this along with a few other a couple of other things for Christmas and this one is just every season appropriate so I left it out also it kind of matches with my little painting my little picture right here shadow box that's right and it also kind of matches with my really pretty tea kettle that I got from world market I would say in like July or August or I don't remember when I got that y'all but it's beautiful <sighs> out of breath so here's all my oils here are just some little um coasters that we never use but it's cute also got those from world market um this is our giant microwave it's necessary <laughs> so I've got my little glass of this is actually, I washed a empty jar of pasta sauce and I just kept the, the jar to put water in to fill up the diffuser. So there's my diffuser. Um, if you know, it's Young Living. I'm not a distributor, so don't come for me, but there it is. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, there's all that. This is where I keep all my vitamins. And there's a little thing of dog food in here. And this is also where I hide all of my um, wax melts. And this one is from Walmart. It's the Twinkle Lights. It just smells like vanilla. Love it. Also, side note, sorry. I am distracting. This one is the Christmas Morning Punch. This smells so good. Um, I've got some in here that are from Dollar Tree. And you can smell them, like, if you stick them up to your nose. But once they go in the wax warmer, you can't really smell them. So, <laughs> anyways. And then I've got this right here with my utensils. So, basket is from Dollar General. That is from Hobby Lobby. Only spent $15 on it. Half off day. Um, and then that was given to us by a family member so it's free and yeah um there's her little tray with our fruits and veggies on it and her bread and then down there is our potatoes and our air fryer that we use all the time my mom bought that for me for christmas one year also this year uh, i'm sorry i'm talking a lot but she bought me a mini crock pot like a small one that's just basically like a warmer and I'm pretty, I don't know what color it is, but I can't wait. It's Pioneer Woman, and I painted my walls white, so now I can have, like, actual floral decor, and it not clash with my wallpaper, which was another reason why I just decided to go ahead and paint it white, so I could have, like, that kind of stuff, and it wouldn't clash with the walls. Um, Godzilla with my feet. Also, I'm wearing two different socks. Um, I almost said two different I don't know what I was about to say, but it was not socks. Anyways, <laughs> I appreciate y'all so much for being here. Let me show you another angle real quick. Um, yes, Christmas cards are still on the door. I really need to go to the P.O. box to make sure there, that there are no more lovely cards in there from you lovely people. I love you so much, everyone that sent me a Christmas card. Um, all right, so there it is. My bright and airy. Oh, so cool, I forgot. So now this, this actually matches now. The kitchen, what? It matches the kitchen. Oh, okay, I'm, so, oh, by the way, Aaron does not know I did this. So I'll have to update y'all in another video. He has no idea. Oh well. <laughs> it's not like he liked the flower wallpaper anyways. So I'm so excited. Whoops, I about fell over. I love it so much. Some of y'all told me not to get rid of this table. I don't like this table. It's way too big. It juts out, you know, like it's too big. So actually what I want, I'll show you on my Pinterest board. All right, let me focus the camera. Okay, so I either want something like this that I can use as a storage, like put my little towels in, put other kitchen utensils, smaller things. I could put like my um, 
other stuff like in these little doors. This is just an idea by the way. I love the color. I love it. It kind of matches. I want it to tie in with these. So I love the emerald green is what I type in. Like emerald green hutch. Oops, not hutch. Um, dresser. And then I also really like this, but I would want it to match this color. So not be as green. But this one, whoops. This one is a hutch. And I love that because I could put my, like, whenever I buy, like, a tea set or um, fancy dishes, I could put them on display and you see how it's so much more narrow than a table and I can still use it as a way to decorate and store things and it's just a lot more functional for us because we don't actually eat or serve food on the table we just eat in the living room and sometimes Erin eats at the one of the bar stools um, so we don't need a table for eating or serving food reasons it's just there um, so I'd much rather use that space for something that we will use for storage and also decorating, you know. And um, so I, I was like doing, finding different ideas, but I really like this color the best. And obviously I can just find any hutch that I like, like even at Goodwill that's already built that would be amazing and then I can just paint it and put the hardware on it that I like um so I liked that one too that one's a little too big um this one's like the perfect size height wise um and then the dresser is fine if it's bigger but also sorry this is like my vision board and it's basically like a dream board. I just put stuff on it that I want. And then instead of using money um, on like spur of the moment stuff, I wait and I buy something from my Pinterest board that I actually wanted. Um, so like here's a little tea set that would be really pretty in a hutch. And then these little plates, Linux plates from like uh, Macy's are super cute don't know I love this one so much that would be beautiful um it's so pretty I love that I actually I really want that and I'll probably buy it eventually um, but I'd have to have the hutch first <laughs> um, and then this is the kind of chair I want for to replace that chair I don't know why it won't focus there we go Cause that chair is just really big um so i'd much rather have this chair yep i love this chair i wish it would focus there we go i love that chair and it matches with my curtains so cool this is how quiet it is in our house and then i've got like another set of curtains that are green right here because I need to replace the ones on the other side. And then to match my duvet cover in the bedroom. I wanted to get these curtains right here. So I'm just adding stuff to this. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is my dinnerware set. It's from Macy's. I really want it. I love that color. It's like a sea foam green. Um, it's really pretty. So I don't know why I put like regular plates when there's already plates in this one but I love this tea set so that's why I want to replace the table so I can get that hutch and then put this in the hutch and then have these in the other shelf of the hutch <laughs> I'm in dreamland over here also um I want this jumpsuit well it's not a jumpsuit it's a is there a jumpsuit no it's just pajamas, but slash loungewear. I could wear that while I'm cleaning. Oh, it's blurry. Okay, there we go. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And um, if you did, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have some of my other videos on the end screen that you can click on and go watch. 
And then also if you want to watch my vlog channel videos, I will have them on the end screen as well too. The last one I uploaded was a what I eat in a day. So when you see it pop up after my face disappears, all you have to do is click on it and then it will go to that video and you can subscribe that way. So I will see y'all back here very soon for another video. Bye. And there's nothing that is